एंजाइना पैक्टोरिस और जस्ट एंजाइना टेम्पोररी चेस्ट पेन और डिसकम्फर्ट कॉज्ड बाय डिक्रीज ब्लड फ्लो टू द हार्ट मसल्स बिकॉज ऑफ द डिक्रीज फ्लो ऑफ ब्लड देर इज नॉट इनफ ऑक्सीजन टू द हार्ट मसल्स रिजल्टिंग इन चेस्ट पेन वन ऑफ द मोस्ट कॉमन कॉज ऑफ एंजाइना इज कोरोनरी आर्टरी डिजीज इन कोरोनरी आर्टरी डिजीज देर इज नेरोइंग ऑफ कोरोनरी आर्टरीज विच आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर कैरिंग ब्लड एंड ऑक्सीजन टू माओकार्डियम वाइल एंजाइना इज नॉट अ हार्ट अटैक it does signal an increased risk for a heart attack seek immediate medical attention if you experience any chest pain or discomfort there are two main types of angina stable and unstable angina stable angina is the most common type and develops during physical activity it usually lasts a short time approximately 5 minutes or less after the physical activity has ended Unstable angina is less common and usually occurs during periods of rest. It usually lasts longer and symptoms may be more severe. Symptoms of angina include chest pain or discomfort such as tightening of the chest, discomfort in the jaw, neck, arm, upper abdomen, shoulder and back. Other symptoms may include fatigue, sweating, nausea and dizziness. There are many risk factors associated with angina which include high blood pressure, diabetes, obesity, family history, tobacco use, stress and age. Let's now see how angina pectoris is diagnosed and evaluated. In order to diagnose the cause of angina, the following test may be performed. Electrocardiogram, commonly called ECG. ECG records the electrical activity of the heart which is used to diagnose heart abnormalities such as arrhythmias or to show ischemia blood tests blood tests can identify certain enzymes such as troponin that leak into the blood after your heart has suffered severe angina or heart attack blood test can also identify elevated cholesterol ldl and triglycerides that place you at higher risk for coronary artery disease and therefore angina coronary computed tomography and geography this exam evaluates the coronary arteries to determine the extent of narrowing of the arteries due to plaque some other tests which may be performed include chest x-ray ct of the chest mri and catheter angiography let's now take a look at how angina pectoris is treated Many doctors may recommend certain lifestyle changes such as maintaining a healthy weight, consuming a balanced diet which is low in fats, discontinuing the use of tobacco products, and finding ways to reduce stress. Additionally, you may also be treated with medications such as aspirin, statins, beta blockers, calcium channel blockers, or nitrates. Besides this, some surgical procedures may be followed: angioplasty and vascular stenting. In selected cases following appropriate testing your doctor may perform angioplasty and stenting in this procedure balloons or stents are used to open the blockage in coronary arteries and improve blood flow to the heart coronary artery bypass graft surgery cabg this surgery increases blood flow to the heart by using a vein or an artery from elsewhere in the body The main purpose of this surgery is to divert blood flow around the area of narrowing or blockage in the coronary artery of the heart. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe our channel.